Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Microsoft Entra ID self-service password reset. My name is Navneet Kumar. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and the founder of TrainCrash Technologies. Microsoft Entra ID self-service password reset is a feature of premium tier of the Entra ID. It helps users in changing or resetting their passwords without relying on the IT support teams. This feature significantly reduces the help desk calls and improves the user's productivity. If I talk about the key benefits of this feature, improved user experience is one of the benefit that reduces the frustration and the wait time for the password resets. Increased productivity because users can regain access to their accounts quickly. Reduced help desk load, so it frees the IT support teams for other tasks to do rather than just re recovering or resetting the accounts of the users. It also has enhanced security by implementing the strong authentication methods like multi-factor authentication. The Entra ID self-service password reset is actually initiated by the users when they forget their password and then they use the authentication methods to verify their account verify their identity with the help of multi-factor authentication methods like the SMS or it can be the email or the authenticator app from Microsoft. Uh, so using these uh, multi-factor authentication methods or second factor authentications, they prove their identity and recover their account. Once their password has been reset, then they can use that account. Optionally, we also can use password write back feature so we can implement this password right back to reset the user accounts password in their on premises also if we are using hybrid environment. So in case the users forget their password, they will go to the Microsoft uh, uh, portal, application portal uh, to recover their account and this changed password will be uh, written back to the on premises Active Directory domain services as well. So this does not require a complex tool implementation in on-premises for self-service password reset. Well, let's have a look into the demo of this feature. How do we set up this self-service password reset in Entra ID? Currently, the Entra ID tenant that I have is having the premium two license on it. And to use this uh, feature, we have uh, the protection blade we can expand this protection and under the protection blade we have the uh, various features including identity protection conditional access authentication methods and here you will see one blade called password reset so let me go back to this home page of it all you need to do is you need to go to the protection and you need to go to the password reset because this feature is somewhere uh, used to enable the strong authentication for the users and recovering their accounts by default, self-service password reset is disabled. It is not enabled to any user, but you can choose the scope to which group of users you want to enable it. So you can choose that particular group of users from here uh, for this self-service password reset. So it is uh, configurable that, it, I mean, it is not that you, it is not like that you have to enable it for all the users at the same time. But if you want, you can enable it for all the users as well. So that is also an option available over here. Now the next thing you need to decide is that what will be the authentication method, how the users will authenticate for this self-service password reset. And there are various ways to do this uh, authentication uh, in case the users forget their password. So how will they prove their identity? So they can prove it using the mobile app notifications, mobile app code, email addresses, mobile phone, office phone or the security questions. Uh, the security questions are the same thing that you might have used with many other global identity providers where you provide some questions and you can in fact decide that how many questions will be used to register for the self-service password reset and how many questions will be required when you will recover your account. So you can choose those number of questions from here and then you can set up those questions over here as well. So I mean uh, it is configurable. So right now no security question is selected but I can go with predefined questions and I can choose which question I want to provide to the users to recover their accounts. If I do not want to use this built-in set of questions, I can create custom questions also and add them. So this sort of customization is also possible for these security questions. Let me not use this and in this case, I will use this number of method required to reset the password is only one. 
I don't want two methods for that. And the second thing that I need here is let's say the mobile phone is sufficient for me. So I can choose that accordingly. Recommended option was use mobile phone plus email because sometimes if you do not have the access to your mobile phone also or you have lost it or it is stolen or uh, it is switched off and uh, you do not have access to you know in any way to your mobile phone. So how will you recover your account and gain access to it? So recommended ways through the email also but to save the time in this demonstration I'm just using this with the mobile phone. I'll click on this save button. Now how do you want the users to register for the self-service password reset? So let this uh, setting be saved first then go to the registration blade and in the registration blade you see require users to register when signing in automatically. So this option is there that is set to yes and number of days before users are asked to reconfirm their authentication information is 180 days that okay whether this uh, authentication information is correct or not. You might have observed it that you get this kind of options that okay whether this number is correct or you want to update it. But suppose you want the users to uh, register this uh, by themselves then you can go with no then it will not require the users to register for the uh, you know self-service password reset or to provide this uh, additional factor of authentication information uh, for you know uh, registering for self-service password reset. But in that case then you will have to educate your users that which portal to use like you know the application portal need to be used for the by the users to go to their profile and enable this self-service password reset manually. So it is a good thing or it is recommended that you enable it during the sign in the users are asked those additional details like their contact number in this case uh, I have selected the mobile phone. So uh, it is advised to go with this default setting but yes you can configure it with this way. You also can decide the notification that how the notifications will be configured. So notify users on password reset and notify all admins when the uh, when other admins reset their password. So this is for the administrators you want to change that. I mean you want to configure that setting. If you want to reduce the noise uh, you can keep it on no and uh, you do not want to receive the notifications or too many notifications for other admins. You can anytime go and check the audit logs in the entry ID for this. So notifications are not required you can go with this. You also have the option to do the customization. So customize the help desk link that you can provide. So yes I want to provide a help desk link in the you know email or URL of the help desk team that the users will contact uh, for the support. On-premises integration is also possible. So you can integrate it with the on-premises uh, directory services. Administrator policy setting is there then you can check the audit log that uh, uh, what activities have happened so far usage inside usage and insights you can check over here in the directory So this is how you can enable the configuration as an administrator to allow the users to do the self-service password reset